Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Cold Heart Truth Podcast. I'm Jack Smith, and after being released today from the Washington football team, Dwayne Haskins is on waivers. So in this video, I'm going to be ranking the top five landing spots for quarterback Dwayne Haskins. Before we get into the top five, go down into the comment section and let me know where you think Dwayne Haskins will go, what you think some good landing spots for him. Who do you have at number one? I want to hear it all down in the comments. And while you're down there, please leave a like on the video. It really helps us grow and it takes 10 seconds of your time. Also, make sure to subscribe for more NFL and college football content. About 84% of you guys actually aren't subscribed and we want to reach some of our goals in 2021. It'll really help us if you guys subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into my top five landing spots for Dwayne Haskins. Coming in at number five is the Carolina Panthers. I think that this is a great place for Haskins to go because he'll be able to sit for a year possibly behind Teddy Bridgewater, but he's also got some great young coaches who will finally get to work uh, with a young quarterback, which is something they haven't done in the NFL yet, but I trust them to do that. Matt Rule and Joe Brady in Carolina, if they're both there next year, would be able to really help Haskins out. And also being around talents like Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, and whoever they can draft inside the top 10 could prove to be a very good spot for Dwayne Haskins to learn, progress, and have talent around him. Carolina may look to address quarterback in the draft instead, but I have them here at number five because of the potential of this signing. I don't think Haskins is going to cost a whole lot. His price would have been a lot higher had the stuff that transpired over the last couple weeks not have happened. But I think that Carolina is a relatively safe place for him to go. There's talent there. There's young coaching. Uh, and I think he won't cost a lot of money. And so, you know, just a fallback option after Teddy Bridgewater wouldn't be a terrible move. Coming in at number four is the Minnesota Vikings. I think this landing spot is very similar to Carolina. Obviously, there's a quarterback that can teach him what needs to happen to be a successful NFL quarterback. There's talent around him with a great running game in Dalvin Cook, two great receivers in Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. A pretty good O-line. I think it would be a good spot for Haskins to land and a good spot for him to learn. The reason that this is ahead of Carolina, however, is I think that when we're talking about mentors, I feel like Kirk Cousins would be a better mentor to Dwayne Haskins because he's a pocket passer like Haskins is. Haskins isn't the roaming running quarterback like Teddy Bridgewater is. He's more along the lines of Kirk Cousins. And also I feel like as a team, Minnesota is a better spot. And in the division, I mean, if you're Haskins and you can sign with any of these teams, you look at Minnesota, that's a place you can go and win and you can win soon. And that's why I have them coming in at number four over the Carolina Panthers at number five. Coming in at number three are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If you're Dwayne Haskins, there cannot be anyone that you would rather learn under than Tom Brady. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback to ever do it, the best football player to ever do it. And I think that he would be a great mentor for Dwayne Haskins. And maybe if this is his last year, he's a mentor for the rest of the season. Or if next year is his last year, Haskins sits behind him for a year and seeps up all of that information that Tom Brady would have to give him. Tampa Bay's also proven that they can make it work with quarterbacks who have issues. Jameis Winston threw 30 interceptions last year and they were still a pretty good offense. I think Dwayne Haskins will see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a place he can not only learn, but also with the player that he is right now, those mistakes won't prove to be too costly. Also, it does not look like the Buccaneers will be picking high enough to draft one of the top quarterbacks in this draft. So Haskins might be a better fallback option because people forget he was a first round pick last year. People thought he was the second best quarterback in the draft. And now with the Buccaneers not being able to get a Trevor Lawrence, a Trey Lance, a Zach Wilson, any of those names at the top of the first round, Dwayne Haskins could be a good option with the same upside as a lot of those quarterbacks. And having Tom Brady there to teach him could be a recipe for success. Coming in at second place in my second highest landing spot for Dwayne Haskins, the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers earlier this year looked like they could have gone undefeated and that's when Big Ben was playing well. Imagine Dwayne Haskins going in there if he plays well all they need him to do is play mistake free and get the ball downfield. That's something the Steelers have struggled with recently is a quarterback that can't get it downfield. Big Ben, his, his days are coming to an end. I don't know how much longer he can be the quarterback for the Steelers because you watch him play and every throw is short. Dwayne Haskins might not be as good a decision maker as Big Ben, but he has a better arm. And that's right now what the Steelers need. You look and they have three great wide receivers. They have a defense that can salvage something if Dwayne Haskins messes up. And also they've got Mike Tomlin, one of the best coaches in the NFL. Haskins can get the ball downfield. He's shown he can do that. He's got a good arm. If the Pittsburgh Steelers can bring that out as well as refine his decision making a little bit, he could really help the Steelers and the Steelers could really help him. And that's why they come in at number two on my landing spots. 
A quick reminder before I get into my top landing spot, please go down into the comments and let me know where you think Dwayne Haskins will go. What is your top landing spot for him? While you're down there, please like and subscribe. It really helps us with the YouTube search algorithm and lets our videos get out to more people. And in order to reach our goals in 2021, we would really appreciate your help. But without further ado, let's get into my top landing spot for Dwayne Haskins. And coming in first place, the New England Patriots. I think this is maybe a perfect landing spot for Dwayne Haskins. I really thought about whether this one should be lower on the list or higher on the list because, you know, Bill Belichick, he's a no-nonsense kind of guy. They don't really like players that are going to go in and cause a lot of problems, which is why they consistently have one of the best organizations in the NFL. But the flip side to that is I feel like Bill Belichick is a guy who can tap into the potential for Dwayne Haskins and fix some of the problems he has. So it's a it's a teeter-totter scale, but I went on the positive side, the glass half full side. I think Belichick and that Patriots organization could be a safe, calm place for Haskins to go and a great place for him to learn. You look at what they've had with Cam Newton this year. They obviously haven't been able to win too many games, but they don't require a lot out of their quarterback. Obviously, Cam, Cam Newton hasn't been great, but Dwayne Haskins, all he has to do is go in, maybe throw for 200 yards a game, throw a touchdown or two. This defense, this coaching staff, this play calling, these running backs, this run game, they will make it work in New England. And so I don't think it's a very demanding landing spot, which actually kind of rhymed, but I think Bill Belichick and that Patriots organization can bring out the best in Dwayne Haskins. And when you're looking to sign with a team, that's what you look for, a place where your best can come out. And I think it's the safest of the landing spots. Uh, and I feel like it's a Patriots move. And that's it. That's my top five landing spots for Dwayne Haskins. It was a surprise release this morning. Um, and say he was traded at the trade deadline, Washington would have gotten a lot more. A lot of teams would be clamoring for him. But now that he's on waivers, every team's got a crack at him. I don't think it will cost too much, but these are the top five landing spots. If I'm these teams or if I'm Dwayne Haskins, this would be my list. But tell me, what's your guys' list? Go down to the comments. I want to know what your landing spots are for Dwayne Haskins. While you're down there, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more NFL and college football content. This has been the Cold Heart Truth Podcast. I'm Jack Smith signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next.